Good morning, Roti. <laughs> ah, what a lovely day to blow off practice. <laughs> I know, I know, I wouldn't really skip training. But it's so early. I can learn just as well in the afternoon, can't I? <laughs> oh, well, I guess we'd better head off before the old man explodes. Maybe we can beat him there this time. in sight. Who's slow now, old man? Gah! Ajna, you're late. Well, uh, you're late. You're... you're late. Enough nonsense, child. What? You smacked me. That's the nonsense. This is training, Ajna. If you'd been paying attention, you wouldn't have gotten hurt. I was paying attention. I just didn't expect a cheap shot from my dad. <sighs> Combat is rarely predictable or fair. Oh yeah? Then take this! Gah! I've told you time and time again. You must never project your attacks. I know. I just get all fired up. One of your best and worst qualities. Yeah, I'm a hot-blooded teen. And a very strange one at that. Well, look who raised me. I suppose you have a point. That's right. Score one for Ashna. What you should be scoring is hits against your old dad. Oh, I'll score some hits, all right. With Mom's axe! <laughs> oh, Ashna. Didn't I just warn you about projecting your attacks? Looks like we're going back to basics. No, again? When you have learned to concentrate, when you can actually block my strikes, maybe then we can talk about Mother's Axe. Really? Really. A solid defense is the root of any proper combat strategy. From there, your true potential blossoms. Right, that stuff. Let's do it! Activate Flowering Defense! This should be good practice. Not gonna happen! Not so fast! Well, how's that? Not bad, huh? Hmm. It was sloppy. I expect better. You expect better? Who says that to their kid? I just want you to improve, Ashna. You'll never reach your full potential if you don't listen. I listen? Ashna, calm down. 
No! I'm coming all the way up! How do you expect me to talk to you when you're like this? You want to act like you can't talk to me when I'm like this? When do you ever talk to me anyway? Arshna! No, you know what? We're talking about this now. Must we go through this again? Okay, how about an easy one, huh? Where are you from, Dad? How old are you? Why won't you even tell me that? <sighs> Can't answer? Okay, let's increase the difficulty. How did Mom die? I don't even know what she looked like. Your mother and I, we... Now is not the time. Then when is the time? Don't I deserve to know? Listen, child, I am your father. It's not for you to lecture me. I'm the teacher here. If you're my dad, then act like it! Your anger is getting the better of you, Ashna. I'm going home. You may join me when you've cooled off, and only then. Dad! You can't just walk out on this conversation! And he's gone. Great. Who's supposed to be the child here? Ugh! He's so frustrating! But... I better go apologize. I guess. Dad! Wait up! For an old guy. Wait, is that smoke? And it's coming from the village. What's happening? Oh no! Dad could be down there! child. I'll allow you to say your goodbyes, but your life is forfeit, heretic. Ashna. Ashna, you're strong. You're the best student I could have asked for. And the best daughter. I know I've been hard on you. I know I haven't been the kindest father, but things are only going to get harder. You have to... Don't worry about all that right now. I just need you to be okay. I'm sorry. You were right. There's so much I need to tell you. Dad, save your strength. I'll beat this guy and we'll get you fixed up. I want to tell you everything. I know I should have from the start. But don't worry, Ashna. Death isn't the end. Gather friends around you. Become stronger. I'm sure you can... You can... Dad! Dad! Come back! Save your tears for someone who cares, girl. Your life ends now. For the glory of Lord Ravanovar! You killed my father! You burned our village! As I should have. A village that interferes with Lord Ravanovar's vision does not deserve to stand. The people of Ashwat are strong. We'll rebuild, and your violence will have been for nothing! There will be no one left to rebuild it. There's me. I've trained every day, ever since I could crawl. And if you want to fight, I'm bringing it to you! Up while you can, girl. All those who oppose Lord Ravanovar's perfect world will perish by my hand. I so swear it. Burning innocent people's homes, 
that's your idea of a perfect world? village girl like you couldn't possibly understand. This is part of a larger plan. Well, your plan is evil, and I'm stopping it right now! Down you go! big now that you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, are you? You haven't bested me yet, girl. Ah! Uh! What? Witch! With what magic have you imprisoned me? Imprisoned? Come on and show yourself, coward! You're the coward, spiriting me away with your village magic! Shut up! That makes no sense. And you're so loud. It sounds like you're screaming directly into my mind. <clears throat> well, I'll find you. I just gotta concentrate. <sighs> what is this place? I'm... inside myself? I... Shut up! How? And why are you here? That's what I'd like to know. Well, this doesn't change anything. I'm still gonna destroy you. Try it. What? My fists won't connect. <laughs> Wherever this is, if I can't kill you, I'm leaving you here. Goodbye. But I... I told you to shut up! I... <laughs> I'm back. Poor Ashwat, my village. Everyone. What will we do? What should I do? I guess... I guess I have to bury Dad. Father. I'm so sorry I wasn't with you. Maybe I could have helped. Maybe you wouldn't have had to die. Please know that no matter how tough things were between us, I loved you anyway. I'm gonna make you proud. I'll get stronger. I'll find out what it is you wanted me to become. Believe that. Your father fought bravely. As a warrior, I recognize... You do not get to talk about him, ever! We're gonna find this Ravanavar of yours now. He'll answer for what he's done here. And you can either help me get to him, or you can rot in there! Rebuilding the village will have to wait. Oh, I'll bring you to him. As a trophy. We'll see who makes a trophy of who. We're following your army's trail till we find him. Under certain conditions, it seems. I'd rather not die stuck in your head, so I propose a truce until I can return to Lord Ravanovar. Ah, this is so frustrating! I can't get rid of you, I can't kill you, and now you can come and go out of my brain as you please! Trust me, if I could leave, I would. Thank you. 
I'll bury you. It's over. Lost their trail. Where do we go now, murderer? My name is Dar. Use it. And I know my troops. They'll stick to the main paths, and you're no match for them on your own. If you mean to get to Lord Ravanovar, you should cut a path through the jungle. I'd rather not let you group up with your buddies again anyway, so... Jungle it is. Okay. Pfft. Look at my stupid house. Did soldiers do this? They might have. All I know, I move all the way out here to the middle of nowhere to get away from all the noise, and then here come these idiots, carrying on and taking my stuff. So I had to quiet them down, make them crispy, crisp them up real good. <laughs> Where are they? They're inside what's left of my house. Do you want to see? No thanks. I've been dealing with those guys all day too. Poor thing. Well, I guess that's it for me. Now my house is gone. So I'm just gonna wait here to get eaten by a Vitala or whatever. What? Why? Maybe you can come with us. I'm trying to find my dad's murderous boss. Us? But there's only one of you. Oh, well, the guy who murdered my father is living in my head right now. It's kind of a complicated situation. You are definitely gonna get eaten by a Vitala. What's a Vitala anyway? Keep hanging around here and you'll find out. You know, maybe we should get going after all. My house leaked anyway. So you're coming with us? Great! My name is Ashna. Maybe if you help us, we can... Again? Where'd I go? Oh, where'd you go? There's a man in here who looks extremely annoying. Yeah, that's my dad's murderer. I don't know what his name is. I have told you, my name is Dar. I am the newly appointed lieutenant to the great Navar army, unifier of the... Ajna, I hate him. Uh... <sighs> Can't even get a good fire going in here. Were you trying to set him on fire? Maybe a little. Well, thanks for trying. So, do I just live in your head now? I guess. I don't really know how this works yet, but I seem to be... absorbing people? Hmm. That's gross. 
My name is Rosmi, and my tiger friend here is Balm. He used to have bones, but now he doesn't. I keep his soul in my lantern, and he makes things crispy. Nice to meet you, Rosmi. It's good to have some actual company. I object to- Shut, Shut up! If I must. my entire life. What a terrible way to get it. More importantly, what happened to this soldier? What was he doing this far from the village? Looting and pillaging, obviously. But my soldiers wouldn't do that. We had a mission. Don't be so dense. He stole my mother's axe and then he got killed. It's as simple as that. And whatever killed him is probably still out there, so we'd better make tracks. <laughs>
father once told me something terrible lives in these ruins. Something worse than the Belu. I guess that's what killed your friend back there. He was my subordinate, not my friend. Though I do feel for him. Feelings, huh? First time for everything, I guess.
Like that. I'm sorry I surprised you. I've just never seen someone concentrate so hard on a clump of grass before. It's not grass. It's the Comtheria galonga, a famous medicinal herb from the Ashwat region. Or it might be. Trouble is, it could just as easily be the foliage of a Kabanda monster. Their leaves look almost the same, even to a trained botanist like myself. Oh, Camphoria galonga! Like you know what that means. You might know it by its colloquial name, the Resurrection Lily. Oh, the Resurrection Lily! Anyway, why don't you just yank it up and find out? Um, the problem is, me and Honey are healers, not fighters. That's why I've just been stuck in place here, staring at this thing. Oh, if it's just monster trouble, you can leave that to me. You're sure you can protect us? That is her one and only strong suit. Yeah! I may not know about different kinds of grass, but I know all about pounding on Kabanda. Pull that sucker on up. Well, okay. Let's give it a go. Oh! Thank goodness. It's the resurrection, Lily. This is too much excitement for me. Beautiful specimen. Boring. I got all pumped up, too. Well, nice to meet you anyway, whoever you are. Oh, my name is Jinsing. And wait, where are you headed? Here and there, wherever the wind takes a host of world travelers like us. East. We're headed east. Say, before you go, could you help me out? There's a nice reward in it for you. Hmm, what do you need help with? Pulling up grass? Well, resurrection lilies, but yes. If you can help me find three more batches, I'll give you something really nice. Ajna, we should really move. We'll do it! Get that reward good and ready!
This botany stuff is a piece of cake. Only two more to go. As soon as I picked it up, I knew. Sure, because it wasn't a Kabanda. Yeah! Uh, anyway, let's go find one more.
it off. of Reza freaking lily leaves. Resurrection. Whatever. Point is, I got the goods. Fantastic! You know these things can cure rheumatism? And headaches! And fevers! And intestinal parasites! 
cool, cool, cool. So, what's that reward you were talking about? Oh, the reward? It's our friendship. What? What? Here we go. We'll be your friends and travel to exotic places with you. And you can protect us as we become the greatest botanists in the world. Uh, it'll be perfect. We've got enough know-it-alls in this group. Thanks. Um, um, did I mention I'm a healer? I can heal you during your glorious battles. Hmm, that's a good point. And our battles are pretty glorious. Ajna, no. I concur. We needn't take on extra baggage. I don't like the looks of this child. Uh, who asked you, Dar? Why are you even here? That's a good point. Well, whatever. If Dar says no, I say yes. Let's go, tiny weirdos. Yay! I wonder what we'll find. Hmm. <laughs> 
web reminds me of something I came across in my research. Something the forest folk call the Beast Lord. Pin... Uh, Pinda something... You mean Pindayar? The Beast Lord that feasts on travelers and uses human body parts to construct his body? My dad talked about that thing. Yeah, that's it! That's what we're looking at here, I'd say. The Human Limb Collector, Pindayar. But... I'm a human! Shoot, this web is too thick to cut. And too wet to burn. And too sticky to touch. How are we supposed to get out of here? Aw, it's cute. Hi, little Vitala. Look at all your gross little legs. That's the thing you were talking about before? Yeah. They love eating stuff. Let's not get eaten, Rajmi. Let's keep our parts. Yeah, okay. Maybe it'll be even cuter when it's on fire. Try harder!
No more parts for you, Beast Lord! I still think it was cute. Thanks for your help, everyone. We make a great team! Except Dar. Yeah, except Dar. You'd all be dead if not for me. You'd be dead if I could get you out of my brain! Uh, anyway, can we get going? I don't want to run into any more of these things. I should have looked here first. Then you would have been pinned to your food. You're right. Rosmi, Jinseng, do either of you have anywhere you want to go? I've got to go smash up Dar's boss. No plans. Let's do the smashing thing. That sounds good. We still want to travel the world with you. Even if your objective is a little gruesome. <laughs> wow! That's great! Then we'll all go together! Halt! No one from Ashwat Village may leave! Soldiers, as a lieutenant of the Navar army, I command you to escort this child to Vimana Fortress for interrogation. Yes, sir. I am Ashna, daughter of Inder, chief of Ashwat village, and I will not go quietly. Don't kill her. I need to bring her to Lord Ravanavar alive. Yes, sir. Finally, you're up. I don't know why they put me in here with you. I explained that I was bringing you to Lord Ravanavar, but they wouldn't listen to my orders. Maybe that's because you're a jerk and nobody likes you. She makes a good point. Now, now, let's not fight one another. 
If I could just speak directly to Lord Ravanovar. Not to worry, we're going straight to him. And how do you plan to do that? Walk through the walls? There's gotta be a way out of here. There's a way out of everywhere. No one has ever escaped this prison, and you won't be the first. There are only two ways out, the doors and the air vents. Oh, if only you had your axe, Ajna. My soldiers are too thorough. They wouldn't be so foolish as to leave you with a weapon. They can't take your weapon if you store it in your brain. Oh, right you are. Now let's get out of here. Get ready, door. The doors are quite solid, I assure you. <laughs> Oops, that was right for once. Better find another way out. Right, air vents. <laughs> Who leaves a giant open hole in their prison? Normally, our prisoners aren't carrying magic axes around in their mysterious inner realms. Gotta be prepared for everything, Dar. Dar? I didn't call them, but I'm glad they're here. Soldiers, take us to Lord Ravanovar immediately. Our orders are to detain the girl. Nothing more. This is insubordination. I am your superior officer. <laughs> We're gonna get murdered. <laughs> Not if I can help it. <laughs> Oh. 